In this video, I want to show you how to run a Hyper-V virtual machine using the command prompt or a shortcut. This can be done with a simple PowerShell script that can be called from a shortcut or from a batch file. So let's get started. First, we need to identify the name of the virtual machine we need to start automatically. So there are two ways to do it. Either you open Hyper-V Manager or you go to PowerShell. I'm going to show you here the PowerShell method. So go to the search box and type in PowerShell. Right click Windows PowerShell and choose Run as Administrator. In the PowerShell window, type the command get-vm. It will return to you all the VMs that you have on your PC or on your server. Select the VM that you want so that you copy its name. So here I'm going to show the Windows 10 Enterprise. I'm just selecting it with the mouse. And go to the control menu, edit, and select copy. So now we have the name of the VM exactly as it is written here. At this stage, we can close PowerShell. And we need to open Notepad to start writing the script. So in the search box, type Notepad and press Enter to open Notepad. The first line, it will be to set the execution policy of the PowerShell so that it will permit the running of the script that was written on this PC. To do this, type the command set execution policy minus execution policy remote signed minus force. The second command will be to start the VM. So here we need to type in the command start dash VM minus name. And if your VM has spaces in its name, like it is the case in my VM, open quotes. Here you have to pass the VM that we selected when we listed the VM with the get VM command. So I'm pressing Ctrl V. I'm closing the quotes. And this command will start the VM. Now we need to connect to the VM. So here we need to type VM connect.exe. The VM connect program takes as arguments first the computer on which you want to start the VM, second, the name of the VM you want to start. So here to make this script run on any computer, instead of typing the name of the computer, I'm going to type an environment variable. So to type an environment variable, you need to key in dollar sign, env, colon, computer name, and this is environment variable, and then the second argument is once again the VM that we copied from the get VM. So here I'm going to show you edit past. It will be here and close the quotes once again. So this is a PowerShell script. Now to save it, we need to click on file, save as, and this is very important. You need to click text documents and select all files and in file name, Name the PowerShell script, whatever you want. Here I'm going to name it run vm. And very important, you need to extend it with the extension .ps1. And click on save. As you see here now on the desktop, I saved it on the desktop. We have the run vm ps1. If you double click it, it will not run now. In order to run it, we have two options. Either we create a shortcut or we create a batch file. I'm going to show you both. I'm going to start with the shortcut. So to create the shortcut, right click on it and choose create shortcut. Now the shortcut, right click on it, click properties. And here you need to go to the target field. And on the beginning of the line, you need to key in PowerShell 
.exe space start and you can leave it where you want it to start and the second thing that you need to do is to click on advanced and choose run as administrator and click on OK. If you want to push this a little bit further, instead of keeping C users here and my username, you can change it to percent home drive percent and then percent home path percent and after this keep desktop and the PowerShell script name and of course you can also copy this here until desktop and paste it here so as you see now why did I put the environment variables I put them so that if you transport this shortcut to another PC and you put it on the desktop it will run also so click on OK and as you see the shortcut icon changed and now if you double click on it you're gonna see that it will first start the VM and second it will connect to the VM so here it is starting the VM and then here it is connecting to the VM and as you saw we started the VM from the shortcut without using Hyper-V Manager. The first time you start the VM, of course, it will ask you if you want to connect to it with which size. If you don't want to see this anymore, you can simply click on Show Options and you can click on Save My Settings for Future Connections. I'm not going to do this now. So here, as you saw, the VM is started. I'm going to shut it down now and create a batch file to show you how you can start it from a batch file. So while it is shutting down, I'm going to right click here and choose new text document. I'm going to call it start vm.cmd. You can name it cmd or .bat. Yes. Now right click on it and choose edit. Let me close this first. And the batch file here, you should put powershell.exe and after powershell.exe we need to put special argument so that we can start the VM with elevated privileges otherwise it will not start to do this key in powershell space minus command space between quotes start dash process space powershell minus verb run as close the quotes and then here you need to put the script that you want to run in our case it's this one so it's run vm.ps1 so I'm gonna put percent home drive percent the same as I put already in the shortcut here and then percent home path percent and then backslash desktop backslash run vm.ps1 and now we can save it and I'm gonna show you how we can run it from a command prompt so let me open a command prompt and go to desktop cd desktop and here I can key and start vm.cmd and you're gonna see it will run the command it will start the VM and it will connect to it and that was all I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.